Oh boy, what happened to Tony now? It looks like Iron Man has been caught by Magneto. The history of our planet, the liberation of mutant kind has begun. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mr. Stan coming back at you with another review. This time we're gonna be looking at the Mezco 112 Magneto PX. Basically, it's the preview exclusive version. This is going to be my first Mezco figure. I haven't actually purchased a single Mezco yet, and this is just as good as well. I haven't actually gotten to Star Wars until you saw that last Cat Bane, and so other things. I'm just diving into new company lines all the time. I knew they were out there, I just never really got into them until now, and so I figured what better often to start off with the PX edition of Magneto. Now, I do realize that this Magneto has actually been out with its original color is roughly about six months now. So the original Magneto version did come out a while back. However, now this is the PX exclusive version that is just now hitting the shops and hitting, of course, everyone who's already pre-ordered. You should be getting this very soon, if not right now as I speak. So I was just really astonished that I got this here in Hong Kong for a roughly okay deal. I roughly paid about 450 Hong Kong dollars. So that equates to roughly about 58 US bucks. That's not too bad, not, especially since I'm just going into a shop to buy it and I didn't have to pay any shipping costs or any case. What really attracted me was the fact that this came in a really awesome looking box. Here you've got, of course, a nice ba basic tin box in the back, okay? You can see in the back, you've got Magneto and he's got his accessories and he's got his nice white X platform. This version, as we all know, is the Magneto version that I believe was in the comic books where Magneto changed his original uniform color to white in one of the issues because he was going to help the, I believe he's going to help Cyclops from what I read in the short comic uh, comic story. He was going to help Cyclops because the Cyclops had become a renegade X-Men and formed a new group of X-Men. And they're always forming different parts of X-Men anyways. So this is one of his special uniforms and I remember actually using this to play in a game as well where Magneto you could choose different costume styles. However, today we're going to go ahead and go straight into the unboxing and going to see how this figure holds up. Here here we go. Here we go everyone. So right now I want to go ahead and basically look a bit more detailed into this box. It is a fully tin box. As you can see on the bottom left, you got the Mezco Pose Play Display Collective. On the bottom right, you got Marvel logo on the top corner. Top corner, you've got the PX Previews exclusive sticker. And of course, on the top left, you got the nice Magneto with the gray stripes. This is a very, very big tin box. So uh, you can expect to have a lot of good. You can see the figure here stands exactly a pretty good size. I haven't actually measured it or opened it just yet because I wanted to wait to do this just together. And of course, this box is actually really, really, it's quite shiny as you can see because you can actually see partially my reflection in this tin box, which, which is really nice. On the back, you can see they also have put in Magneto and what I like about this is at least now you've got a figure that really tells the age properly ages 18 and up and over on the top right not a toy for children intended for adult collectors only that's right so if you're buying this you're not buying this for your kids everyone and those of you who are just girlfriends or wives you know when you want to buy a figure for your husband or your hubby this is one of the ones you're probably going to get and make sure you don't have to really worry about hey it's not a kids toy anymore no 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 this isn't this is this is this is definitely a big boys it's a, it's, it's a man's toy it's an adult's toy so, in any case, we're going to look on the bottom, you can see they have the nice, wow, this is just really nice, they embedded inside the metal tin, the pictures and the backgrounds of how you could display your Magneto, of course, you're probably going to use Photoshop as well, then it comes with, in the back, let's see here, display base with Magneto, with the X-Men signal in the white, okay, in the white background, He's got six interchangeable hands, and this is what everyone has said about in the past Magneto version, which is really awesome. He's got these magnetic hands with actual magnets inside that can grasp metal, and of course he's got this nice display of a gun being dismantled. And he's also got his head sculpt, and he's got his head sculpt that has his helmet. And so now, it's time for us to go ahead and go straight to the unboxing. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Open just like this. 
Oh, I like this. This is kind of a hinge display right here. Check it out. This has got a hinge display, so once you open it up, it's going to... Yeah, you don't want to tilt it too much. I think I'm going to go ahead and just tilt it aside. And here, it comes with your nice paper saying pose and play display, 1 in 12. Our 1 in 12 collective figures are designed to display a wide range of poses, but says with any high-end collectible, care and consideration should be exercised with handling. Okay, very good display, very good warnings. Not like I'm going to, you know, take this and try to do anything. You got a nice, uh, like, very paper-esque type of uh, front back there. Now, let's look at the figure. Here we are. So when you get this figure and you open them up, this is exactly how he's going to look like. You're going to see right here his two magnetic Okay, his magnetic displayed hands. You're going to see here on the bottom right corner, there's his gun, his dismantled gun um, accessory. And then, of course, the figure itself right in the middle. Very nice. Then you've got his second head sculpt. And you got two more interchangeable hands. Well, if you don't count these, it's a total of six. So he's got one pair here, well, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. Uh, four pairs actually. It's six interchange. Okay, six interchangeable hands, right? Sure. So there you go. And we'll go ahead and take him out, and we'll see. Is there anything else in this box, by the way? Let's take a look. And when I take this box out, is there anything else? Let's have a look real quick. I uh, just I uh, just push my background back a little bit. Oh, actually there is. Of course there is. Once you take him out, it's not just Magneto right there. Let's take a look. Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep this tin in a very nice condition. We're gonna go ahead and put the tin right over here on the side. There we go. Tin goes on the side right there. Now, once you take this out of the tin, you've also got on the bottom. That's right. You got his base. So let me go ahead and pull this off. And there we are. Here we go. We've got the. Okay, we got the X Men symbol. The X right there. We've got here, okay, an action stand here to probably put him in levitation mode. And let's take a look. We also have something else, which is this 1 and 12 collective plastic um, plastic container. I'm not sure what this what this function is this for. I'll find out later. But this is, this is what you're going to have when you open this. Once you open it up, this is exactly the parts you're going to see right there. Anything else in the back I'm missing? Nope, nothing else. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and get them out of the box and start checking it out. Here are the accessories all put out separately again. So we're going to take a look at another close-up real quick. As you can see, there's his different pairs of hands, open palm hands right there. And here are those magnetic hands, which we've seen already that was came in the first version, the colored version of Magneto. Of course, his iconic demantling of the pistol right there with the bullets that is just really really good styling right there in fact it does look it, it just it's just an amazing art piece of accessory that you can get with this and here we have the base there's his second head sculpt the one that doesn't include his helmet he's got his action stand right there with of course his uh, action stand uh, stick you could say it your grasp right there to make him you know in some sort of action pose like levitation it also came with this little bag right here, which I'm not sure why they give you a Ziploc bag. I'm assuming it's just that if you wanted to, you could use this to keep all the accessories. Um, let me know in the comments below what this is really used for, because I'm not sure other than just putting all the accessories in there. But then again, I'm not sure if you were going to... If you're going to put the accessories away, why not just put it back inside the box? I mean, it's a nice tin box, right? So why would you want to why would you want to put it in a plastic bag like this? I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's this is this for actually keeping your figure? But no, no, I I, I couldn't believe that. But in any case, here is the figure itself. So we're gonna go ahead and do a close-up look. There he is, Magneto in his white uniform. And look at his little grin right there. The, the detailing on his head sculpt, quite nice. I actually kind of prefer the head sculpt. Oh, where do you go, head sculpt? I prefer actually the head sculpt with the right here as you can see I kind of prefer this head sculpt as opposed to his helmeted head sculpt I just like the I just like the the the, the, the whole intonation of his face it's a bit more serious and this one is just a bit more jokerish I believe I'm not sure I heard in the comments below about in the past reviews that they wish that he had a separate helmet that you could fit on I would have liked that as well but you can see right here those of you who have the original version this is what the PX version looks like and of course for those of you who have already pre-ordered and are still waiting for it this is what you can expect when you get it a bit more of a close-up as I mentioned again okay this cape right here it's quite nice the material is very nice it's got that nice leathery type of look leathery type of feel that wire does allow it to spread open not like super well but it is a good enough pose it can give him that kind of like wind blowing type of pose you could say 
where if you're doing some sort of pictures or photography, you can have him in the background. The fan is kind of like going. He's like doing this heroic type of like look. And uh, lowering back now, looking more at his detail, you can see there we have from the boots. Okay, quite okay. Nice detailing there. This, of course, is fabric. It's fabricated right there right on the side. His belt is a plastic that can be removed, I believe, if you do a bit of squeeze to try to push it down, but I'm not going to do that. You can see the sculpt from his arms, quite nice. It's got a double joint right here, so it, it looks like, yep, he is going to be very articulate. As far as that, you've got also the bicep. You got a bicep swivel right here. So we got a double joint, you got a bicep swivel, quite good. He can actually give himself a nice little knock in the head right there if you want. <laughs> that really makes a difference. And then uh, let's look at the leg. I do believe the leg is also a double joint. Is it the leg a double joint? Yes, it is. Okay, great. The leg is also a double joint. So you got both arms and legs, which double joints. So you can really, you can really get this guy in a pose. And let's take a look. Is he going to be able to do the splits? Um, oh, not too bad. I remember you can do it this way, but probably not front, front way. Let's see if he can actually raise his leg any higher. Um, yeah, it's about, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's not going to, it's not, it's not breaking any records, but he does, he does basically, you can see he does, you know, bend at a double joint with his knee. There is no, uh, there's no double joint over here at the end, just to let you know, there's no actual additional joint. His foot rotation, it can turn all the way around. It looks like it's on a ball joint right there. And shoulder wise, you're looking at the shoulder wise. Let's say, let's take a look at the back. There we go. There we go on the back. Shoulder wise right here, it does rotate all the way. So you will be able to spin it all the way. And it does pull out, you can see. You can say, I believe that's what they call the butterfly hinge. So the articulation is really good on this for sure. Head wise, let's take a look. For this particular head, for his helmeted head, it goes all the way around. Uh, as far as it moving back, oop, oop, I just popped it off. <laughs> and as far as it moving back, before I pop it off, okay, that's as far as it's going to go. Let me go ahead and slide that guy back on. All right, there we go. So as far as it going back, it's not going to go too far back. He's going to turn left and right is fine, but it's not going to go really, it's not going to do any breaking any astonishing records or anything. Overall, though, I believe for this, for this character, again, another very good articulation done by a company, which I have now just bought its first character for me let me go ahead and switch his to his other head there you go i actually kind of prefer this head i don't know about you all but i prefer that this 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 little sculpt it just looks a bit more magneto-ish this one i don't know why it just looks like with that smile there he just looks so much like a joker if you ask me i joker magneto it just just gives me that gives me the idea but overall really good articulation on this figure especially for the price that you will be paying for uh if you've already pre-ordered for this now, to do a quick comparison of capes, I've used here the recently also acquired the Mafex version of the Dark Knight Returns. That's a Mafex version of Batman. He also acquires the type of metal mesh cape right here, which really worked well. Last time when I did the review on this, I really, really was so surprised how well the cape worked with this type of metal mesh. And I'm, I'm, I believe like a lot of the other characters also have a similar type of metal mesh. And I'm surprised, again, I didn't actually know that Mezco actually had a similar type with the metal mesh. It really does work well. However, I do believe the wiring is a bit stronger. It's, it is a bit stronger with the Batman than it is with the Mezco, but still okay because this actually, this leatherish type of material is a lot heavier, so I can understand if it's not going to give you that full that full flare that you're looking for but still it's quite good and it's as far as cape comparison comes it looks like the cape for magneto is actually quite a bit larger if you take a look um it 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 doesn't fold out all the way up but i do believe that you have a larger cape with the magneto now it's time for us to try the strength test of those magnetic hands now obviously we know magneto is the master of magnetism let's go ahead and just start off with the magnetism of his box let's check it out does it work let's see Hey, there you go. Look at that, everyone. He actually magnetizes pretty well. That is actually pretty good. You can have him magnetize his own box just like that. That is quite amazing. I like it. I like it. You could actually have probably one hand magnetized, the other hand off, maybe? Or is that not, is that, it's not, not strong enough there? No, it definitely needs two hands. It definitely needs two hands. Two hands will hold it. One hand, uh, not so much. You can probably kind of like, Kind of like a gecko magneto right there. Yeah, you definitely need the two hands. I probably bet you could probably get it if you were to just basically... Yeah, it's too bad you couldn't magnetize his boots. Let's take a look. It's like that. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha! 
Here we go. That's just pretty amazing. What do you think? There he is. There is a Magneto. Instead of a Spider-Man, you got a Magneto stuck stuck to a metal tin. Let's see how well if I can just go ahead and shift it over. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, actually, he came off. Time for us to take a look at his magnetic test on each hand. So we're going to start off with magnetizing a few things. I think the first one we'll see, a can he magnetize a nut? That's that's no problem for him. Wow, that's great. Then we're going to go ahead and look at a little jewel magnet. Let's see if we can do that. Wow, look at that. That's just well, magnetized really well. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more thing. How about we do a metal marble right here, yeah? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh my goodness, just without any problems, what's going on? And maybe one more, let's go ahead and magnetize a little ring, shall we? Let's go magnetize a little ring, hey, wait, whoa! Look at all those things, he can magnetize quite a bit as long as it is, as long as it is a magnetic metal, or a metal in general, he can magnetize and it can stick to there. Well, that's really good, look at that, jewel, ball, and then of course we've got a ring, and uh, wait, 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 wait a second. What is that ring's picture on there? Does that look like, I think that looks like Elsa? Is that Elsa right there in the back? Let's take a look. Yeah, that is Elsa, my goodness. I guess Magneto, you don't wanna let her go, how come? Oh boy, what happened to Tony now? It looks like Iron Man has been caught by Magneto. And everyone's probably wondering, how is this SHF figure arts uh, Iron Man from the uh, Mach 42, I believe? How is he actually being stuck because he's actually not true metal? Hmm, well, that's just the beauty of it. If you just go ahead and use your uh, scotch tape, as you see, and you go ahead and just basically tape another magnetic object, he can pretty much stick to anything. Isn't isn't that right, Tony? Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, now what happened? This is what happens when Cad Bane basically doesn't try to go against the Jedi and he goes for a mutant. And if that mutant's Magneto, you lose all of your weapons. He's just dismantled this weapon. He's got both of his pistols. And oh no, he's also got Toto 360. Hey, Cad Bane, what are you gonna do now? All right, now who's gonna get sucked up now? Oh my goodness, it's Cobra Commander and Destro! Hey, what happened here, guys? It looks like Cobra Commander and Destro are definitely out of their luck. Destro, of course, is probably thinking, how come you're being sucked up? I'm the one that has most of the metal in my head. And however, Magneto doesn't care. He doesn't discriminate. He can pretty much magnetize anyone who's got something metal behind them, right? Hey! It's better than having a signal under your control, just like in that movie X-Men Days of the Future Past. Well, what is better than that? You could say a 1 in 4 scale Terminator T-800. Check that out. He's got himself a T-800 under control. That's right. Magnetized right there on the head. Check it out, everybody. It looks like even the AIM and the Hydra soldiers are just running in terror. Oh, my goodness. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the review. I hope you all like it, especially since it's my first Mezco figure. Now, if you all are also in the line for a Mezco figure and you have not collected a line just like myself, I definitely recommend getting this one as your first choice. Would be a good idea. Probably because of the fact that it is an exclusive figure. I love the detailing on it, especially if you're an X-Men fan. If you're not an X-Men fan, okay, you can go for a pass. But if you are, Definitely get this if you're a first time figure collector for Mezco collections. I definitely think this is really, really, really nice. However, at the same point, I do believe that this because it is the different version of Magneto, the white version, you do need to be careful because it is white. It can actually get stained and dusted easily and I'm sure it'll be hard to get out that coloration. So do take note of that. If you do put it in a display case, make sure that it's really sealed tight or just make sure you take very good care of your figures so you don't have to worry about that extra well, dark marks later on because I can see how this really bright white, which is really nice, can easily get dirty. Just remember that, all right? We know white is not easy to clean out. And also, just remember as well, if you do have the original and you are in the line for getting this one, also a good choice, but also a pass because, again, the sculpts of the head, as I believe and I've seen the photos, are exactly the same. 
again, you're only just getting the, the, the difference of the uniform. And of course, you're getting a really cool block, uh, collector's tin. So, I mean, if you really want it, go for it. If not, you're still okay with the original colors. Absolutely fine as well. But in my choice, okay, I'm gonna go for this one. I probably won't go back to get the original color one because I have this one already, it's fine. And I think I'll go ahead and check out what other X-Men have down the line, such as Gambit, such as Deadpool, a bunch of others who I've seen, okay, look also pretty good because I'm, I'm quite interested. And I do love the fact that this one comes with those awesome magnetic hand parts where you can just go ahead and mix and match metal items. And remember, you can use a little scotch tape to make that magnetism go a bit further with non-magnetic things right if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button and give this video a like if you like it also remember if you do subscribe click that notification button so you guys can keep up to date the next video coming up is definitely going to be a shopping video so you all will see another place that i go to here in hong kong so when things get better you guys can come here to hong kong and you can do the shopping just like i do and get those really good deals i'm mr stan and i'll see you all on the next video